What's up guys, it's Vicky Dizel Reality Show with the daily Christian commentary videos. Um, you remember that just about a few ba uh, days back when uh, when Solomon and, and J. Israel made a live stream with Sikhle. Uh, they mentioned that cases should be open. They should, this should be taken straight out to the law, right? And uh, for those that were thinking uh, nothing is going to be done, this will not come to anything. Uh, it's it's actually starting to to take shape, and so right now, they, uh, a few days back, they actually went up to open the case. Uh, in the in the post that uh, Sisi made on Facebook, she said, "We are at the Hilbro Police Station. Met with the commander. Cameras are not allowed to protect the victims. Uh, cases were opened. New victims also came up, um, uh, but their names will not be na uh, mentioned just for protection reasons. And a few of them were able to go to stand in solidarity with those that were from Impact for Christ. They have actually opened cases about these things." Now you remember that in Jay's uh, stream, he did also mention that there was some stuff with Nana Poku sleeping with, with, with younger kids. And they were saying, what? Cases should be open. And so we'll wait to hear the update about all those other cases. But now you remember that they were supposed to do a stream a few days back. And they were going to bring some victims on that stream. One of them is a, is a lady by the name of Bongi. Um, yeah. Uh, Names are going to be pulled out there that you will not be expecting <laughs> because when she actually reported, okay, when she reported that uh, she had been violated the way she had, um, there was a preacher, a big preacher who was mentioned. Uh, I, I'm still waiting to do that live, that video reaction to the interview. Uh, and she mentioned the big preacher that she mentioned and the minister shrugged it under the, the carpet. And so... It's a very big name. <laughs> it's a very big name. And we cannot keep putting things under the rug. Shoving things under the rug. We cannot keep doing that. Now, very recently, I think today, there was a post also made showing that Dalim Pofu, you know, is in support to say, you know what, y'all go ahead. Uh, bokoto, bokoto. <laughs> okay, go over there. And y'all have... um may this uh, case be taken off high serious uh, reputation because this is a very big deal if the case was was there one day and then next day it is dismissed something is wrong somewhere now this actually reminded me of a post that was made by advocate on twitter and in this post which he was making on twitter he said w what is the thing that actually made you leave church and it was like and I bet you right now, church hurt is one of the biggest reasons. Church hurt is one of the biggest reasons. It was almost one of the first reasons which I experienced. Uh, because um, when the preacher started preaching things that were not biblical or things that I could not authenticate from a biblical perspective, when I questioned it, he stood right in front of the pulpit and started attacking me. And so I never really took that <laughs> very well. Church hurt is a very big deal. And when a preacher doesn't know where to put his Guess what they do? They use it to 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 influence the others in the in, in the church. And these these ones they just go out uh, spreading havoc and stuff, which is the very same thing that we mentioned about AMI. The people that are down there, nasty behavior. We posted a video a couple of days back. The cruel nature of the followers of Africa. They they they, they are out there creating fake. Uh, accounts in order just to to remind people of the hurt that they've gone through. And so. Uh, church hurt is a very big deal and the first place you can see it it's in doctrine when a person is fouled up their doctrine will be twisted it's one of the first that's why i focus on doctrine even if it's sneaky okay some of them that i'm talking about are not completely wrong but we don't agree on a particular point that they make which can influence other doctrines the things that are mostly tackle i see the influence of that to other doctrines if I correct some particularly something about Makandiwa, it's because it affects other doctrines. Church hurt is a very, very big deal. And the first place you will see it, it's in doctrine. Okay. And so we are glad to see the movement that's starting where people are starting to voice themselves out. If you're out there, you're a Charlie. We are watching you. Even though we don't look like, you know, we don't have cameras on, but we are watching you. Don't think that you will get away as a Charlie. No, as a child, you are busy there thinking that you will take your authority on that seat and do whatever you want. These records will come out and will be out here talking about you. Salute to Dalim Pofu. 
Sinclair like keep pushing the movement. It's Ricky Zerg Shalini Show. We do daily Christian commentary videos. I, I have. I, I like what Mabucho um, uh, and Makoto always say. Shapa Pere. Shapa Pere. And I'll see you on later on this week. Salute. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of commentary. And I'll see you later. Be good. Other videos that are done today, they'll be done in the pink comments. Salute.